Hello YouTube, and today I'm going to be explaining Boneworks. Now first off, you're probably wondering, well what is Boneworks? Well Boneworks is a game held by Monogon. And the system of Monogon is Myth OS. Now we don't know much about Myth OS or Boneworks or Monogon in the first place, but what we do know is that Ford is the head of security of Boneworks. And if you haven't been wondering what Monogon is trying to do, basically Monogon is trying to implant this crablet on your head that deletes all of your self-consciousness, and it's prettily putting putting your head and your all of your consciousness inside of their system. And we also know that Ford is actually trying to do that. Because we actually know that, you know, you don't want your self-consciousness to, you know, get screwed up. But you also want to go in Boneworks and, you know, and then once you put on the headset, your body kind of just chills where you left it. And the reason why Myth OS is always on lockdown because Ford actually helped Gammon. He helped them hack into the MythOS system and then kick all the players. And then when Ford has access to everything, you know, some people get a little bit mad like this. Leave a way in. You can't keep this for yourself. And basically the null buddies are the AI workers, you know, helping to build MythOS. Oh, also, I haven't been talking about the void. You know, basically, uh, the Void Way is a mysterious extra-dimensional location discovered by Monogon in the 1990s, obviously. But what it actually is, it is a source of the Void Energy, which is used by Boneworks to allow other users to transfer their consciousness into virtual worlds, such as MythOS and Arthur Ford achieves this in events of Boneworks. And some people may think this fun little void energy is fun but it's actually not plus it actually damages our character and you're probably wondering well why the hell does the void exist in the first place and i don't actually know but what i do know is it does not heal us it's actually the complete opposite of this it hurts us it's not fun it is painful but ford doesn't care and goes into the sewers and resets the clock tower and this gives Ford access to, you know, the myth, the system of Myth OS again. I don't know why he would want it again, but yeah, he he got it again. And then Ford goes into the fantasy land and fights the king like this. You've come all this way, Dusa. And you know, after this, Monogon finds out what Arthur Ford is doing, and he gets killed in real life. And you know, I'm still kind of sad about that part, so stop the music. Let's salute Arthur Ford. But anyways, now that Ford is dead, that means his consciousness kind of lives forever in the void. You'll also find a couple of clipboards when you're on your journey, uh. Okay, that's a lot more than a couple. But anyways, for example, like this one, we don't know where the spread of the sentence is coming from. At first, it seemed to be something in disposal, but we were overrun even after cleanup. And then we've got this one. This one says, please listen. I know I look like a clipboard, but actually I am fully sentient. Please don't throw me into the recycling. I've just become aware of my reality and I can't go back to the void. This is the only life I know. Everything is new and exciting. Please, I have so many tasks to keep up track of and dreams of helping people communicate. Please don't kill me, Clippy the Clipboard. And then we've got another one here that says, to anyone still in myth, something has gone critically wrong with internal security. Other boards may be compromised. If you are reading this, get to the time tower. It is the only known working resurrection safe locating in myth. And we've got the last one here. And after this one, I'm probably gonna end the video because I'm tired of editing. But the last one says, 
Interview questions for prospective employees. Number one, if you could do anything in the world, why would it be to run it at a pizza place? Number two, what is the purpose of blood? Number three, you wake up in a desert full throttle on the seat of a motorcycle chasing sun down. How many demons are after you? How many demons are after you? How many demons are after you?